Figured I'd just hop on here real quick and show you Lenny. He has officially been moved. Brought him down to the pad. You can see how much smaller he is than that Winnebago that was on there. <laughs> Hello, cheeseburger. Eric. Brian. He looks good down here, huh? So I had a few issues with Lenny. Um, I've started the engine a few times, but I haven't moved them in maybe two months, I think. And when I started them up, he started fine. Went to put them in gear and it was just grind, 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 really fast grind. I, was, I knew that wasn't right. I'm like, son of a, my clutch disc is stuck to the flywheel. So I shut it off, put it in gear, bumped the starter a few times it was trying to move the bus um, and I had to do it about probably 20 times. And then finally the torque of the starter against trying to move the bus, rocking the bus, broke the clutch disc free from the flywheel surface. And then it was fine. So I got Lenny down here. He's gonna go through, I'm gonna go through his brakes, adjust his brakes. All of his solar panels are up there. I got that job completed. I'll do an aerial view here in a second. Um, maybe I'll do that now. That's not too far of a walk, I don't think. Hang on a second. Let me grab my tripod. Hey, Kel, will you hand me my tripod? See if I can do this one. That'll make it a little less shaky while I walk up here. Uh, I can try to take a couple questions while I'm walking here. But yeah, Greyhounds all had that, like Greyhound Blue. They, they did some different paint schemes later on, Pepsi kind of Pepsi can colors and stuff. This is where you're gonna hear me get out of breath in about five minutes. Should have brought the thing. This hill is much steeper than it looks. And that's what everybody that comes here says. get there. I was going to go on the second one. I changed my mind. I just walked all the way up the hill. Here's what's left of our ash pile. I also work out. It'll take me a minute to catch my breath. Hey, you'll get to see Kelly's garden.
I'm trying to get Lenny back ready to go on the road here. Let's see. We got broccoli, carrots, tomato something, green onion, Brussels sprouts, green peppers, yellow peppers, dragon, no, orange peppers, red peppers, spinach. That's some, I forgot where that stuff is. These tomato plants are doing great. A couple different varieties. Okra, eggplant, green onions, chives. bell peppers, cucumbers, her beans, which are going crazy over there. Lettuce, and that's another kind of lettuce. And squash, I think, yellow squash. There's more squash over there. This one's not doing quite as good, this little bed. We use different soil in there that we did here. <laughs> Those are actually the same seeds that those were <laughs> planted at the same time. So we've added some miracle grow to this. We're trying to get it to come back. She got some bok choy and then there's some more lettuce stuff there, eggplant, and that's some of the other lettuce. So there's Kelly's garden. Now that I mostly caught my breath after walking uphill, this is gonna be a cool shot. Anyways, I'm getting Lenny ready to get on the road. We're gonna start doing some jobs that are close close by here. There he is, all solared up. Get over this way more without falling down the hill. And we're gonna try and take jobs that are closer to home closer to home base here, you know, maybe 200, 250 miles away. Probably, preferably going north just to keep the heat at a minimum. So yeah, there's not much room. There's a couple spaces where those air conditioners used to be because I had to leave it wider because there's roof vents on the top. That's why the two panels in the, the second set are farther apart and the first set at the front are farther apart uh, because the the roof vents I wanted to keep. The solar's been doing amazing. We've hit 100% every day. Um, every day for the last month again. We've only had one day that we didn't hit 100% in the last like two and a half months. And that was a super rainy day. Um, Ran the air conditioner 24 hours, all night long. Batteries can handle it, it's no big deal. So anyways, I just got some light maintenance I'm doing on him. Um, go through and adjust the rear brakes, I the parking brake, I hadn't done that because I was on the gravel up there. That clutch sticking thing, I'll probably have to, I should be fine now, but every once in a while I'm gonna make sure that he doesn't sit that long again. Um, yeah, so I just got a little bit of maintenance to do down there and I figured I'd rather climb under the bus on the pad and let him drip a few oil drips down there instead of somebody else's bus surfs. The concrete is sealed. That was one of the first things that we did to, well, we waited for it to cure enough and then we sealed it. There was actually a video on that, but. Okay, I think I'm gonna drive the thing back down the hill. So I don't have to, so Kelly won't have to walk back up when I bring the bus up. So you guys can go along for it riding the thing if you want. And then I'll sit in the air conditioning for a minute in the bus and I can answer a couple of questions. It's very hot today. It's in the, it's gotta be around 90, but the humidity is very high.
I'm gonna take the shortcut to the container. Just gotta watch out for snakes. It only feels like 110. That's what I'm saying, at least in the sun. <laughs> Oh, if you follow us on, I think I put it on Instagram. If not, it's on Patreon for sure. Larry got moved. He fired right up today. He's been sitting for two weeks, hopped in, flipped the power switch on, pressed the, power, the start button and boom, just started to run. I was concerned that the batteries might have a uh, some kind of a draw on them, but they don't because we didn't didn't disconnect the batteries. Okay. Surprisingly, it's cooler in this container than it is outside. <laughs> You're gonna have to just. Lay here and go for a ride. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> Charge or drive. <laughs> My bad. There's Lenny. All right, so I'll go in the air conditioning for just a minute, and then I'll try to answer a couple questions. God, he's handsome. I'm locked out. Feels good in here. You're gonna have to turn down your volume, Kelly. Okay, let me see if I can figure out how to turn this thing around. I know. I'm sweating like crazy now. Okay. All right, hey, Brandon. All right, if you have asked a question up to now, I have not seen it. <laughs> I've been a little busy uh, climbing a mountain and uh, it is warm outside. Okay, so if you weren't here from the beginning, when I drove Lenny down here, his, I'm sorry, I gotta adjust the legs of this tripod, so I don't have to hold it. Just bear with me one more second. <laughs> one more leg. Close your eyes. That way you're not getting seasick. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh man, can I have a paper towel? It's super sweaty. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get a four-wheeler at some point, but it wouldn't help me much. The thing is basically a four-wheeler right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for Bruce Wilson to get a hold of me about when he wants me to come down there. 
Uh, he told me his shop was gonna have air conditioning, so I don't. I definitely don't want to go to Florida without air conditioning. Not not in the summertime. Been there, done that. Won't do it again. Um, today I'm just doing adjust the brakes. Uh, I'm gonna repack the other front wheel bearing because that one hadn't been done in a while. Um, I can't remember if there's something else I was gonna do or not. Those were the important things. Let me know if that's too loud. I'm just gonna try to start getting Okay. Tighter. Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's cool in here. It was the outside that was crazy. In 1947, the top speed for commercial vehicles, I have no idea, but I, there, there were no highways back then, no interstates at least. Um, probably like 45, 50 miles an hour have been the maximum, but yeah, I have no idea. That's a good question for somebody. Yeah, well, I'm reaching out to clients who had previously been scheduled and trying to find out if they still want me to come, still have the ability for me to come, uh, that kind of thing. And again, I'm trying to stick stuff that's local, more, you know, 200-ish miles or so, and hopefully more north, uh, just to keep away from the heat and humidity a little bit. Okay, I am going to probably go ahead and finish up here. I, I got work to do and um, I'll record some of it. Oh yeah, you can't even hear that thing running. You probably hear the fan though. Yeah, you hear a fan. We turned on a Dyson fan that's twice as loud as the air conditioner. Um, again, the solar air conditioning has been perfect. We can run it as much as we want, cloudy or sunny days, it doesn't matter. Um, we run it all night long off the batteries, have not used a generator at all. Um, we don't even have one anymore hooked up here. It's, it's been in the container for over a month. Um, yeah, the, the solar power does everything we needed to do. Um, haven't wanted anything. So, anyways, okay, I, uh, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna go get some work done on the bus today, and then uh, get it back up top. Uh, I'll make sure we film the hill climb on it. That should be fun. Um, he should do real good with it. But I'm not going to back him up the hill. So I got to go turn around on the property and then go back up the hill. So, all right, guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. It was just a quick one, but you got to see Lenny down on the pad. And I'm sure he's uh, going to leave a little oil drip down there. <laughs> Have a good day.